How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. It's time for quite a jam-packed video today. The new update, update 14, was released a couple of days ago now, yesterday I think actually, something like that, with a load of new features, including the blueprint features and the searching for custom blueprints, the wheel spin additions and stuff like that. So what we're going to do in today's video is go through all the new features that have been added to the game in this update. We're going to take a look at some of the new cars and then something bonus as well, which is quite cool. Believe it or not, Playground Games themselves have made a custom vehicle for one person and one person only. It's not a car that we're ever going to get access to, which is absolutely fine. It's been made for this one guy in particular. But there is actually a way that we can see it and just have a look at it. We can't drive it, but we can have a look at it and see what's so custom about it and why they've done it. It's pretty cool of them to do that. On the screen right now, we're going to have a list of the things we're going to do in the video. So let's get right into it. Actually, very quickly before we do, JKXVX merch, if it interests any of you. Uh, is it in screen? I think it is. Or some stickers or some other shirt designs as well. My website's currently being redone at the moment, so if you want to buy any JKXVX merch, hoodies, shirts, stickers, let me know on Twitter and we'll see what we can do. So we're going to have a look at some of the features first, and I want to have a look at the wheel spin feature where we can actually sell duplicate cars that we get in wheel spins. Now, Fingers crossed we get a duplicate. I've got two normal wheel spins here, eight super wheel spins. So hopefully in one of them we get a duplicate car so we can see how this works. So let's open these wheel spins up, see if we get anything. Uh, no, we're going to get credits. Of course we are. Let's spin it again. Ah, there we go. So this is a car that I already own and it's given me the option to add it to the garage or sell it for half of its value because it's quite a rubbish car. It's only worth 10,000 credits, but we're going to go for 10,000 credits. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, though, to be fair. I mean, I know you don't get many credits from the rubbish cars, but if you get like... Oh, I've already got an Iron Knight. Oh, look at that. 400,000 credits. Not like I need it. This is a really good way of getting credits. I'll tell you that. I've already got that. Sell for 42,000 credits. I've already got both of those. Oh, another 250,000 credits. Jesus. So that's pretty cool. That was one of the new features in the um, update. Another one, which I want to look at, was in the creative hub. You can search. Yes, you can search. Oh, yes. You can search for blueprint events now. And if you look at the bottom, there's a share code. Now, every blueprint that you make will have a share code. So if you want your friend to play your blueprint, they can come to this put in your share code and they'll see it. I want less than 10 miles. I want one in spring. I want it to be a dirt race. You can just search just like that. I like that. Now something I can do is my custom route created routes, people are struggling to find them sometimes. So if my Armageddon race interests you, this is 40 miles long, go and input this share code and then you'll get my 40 mile race. So if you want to give that a play, there you go. Let's have a quick look at the new route creator edit checkpoints thing. This will only take 30 seconds. We'll have a quick look. Right, I've placed about four checkpoints down. I'm going to place another one. I'm going to go to place finish line. Yes. And now we have the ability to edit checkpoints. Let's have a quick look at this. We can move the checkpoints, can resize them. And I believe we can skip through them and stuff like that. So if I wanted to start the route again from here, I'd click this and I could start the route from here again. So there you go, there's the new route creator features. If you mess up your route halfway through, you test it, you realize it's broken, you can go back and edit the checkpoint from a certain point and then make it better from then on. Ooh, that was a mouthful. Now, that's most of the cool features from this update. Now I want to show you this rare exclusive car I was on about. Now let me tell you a bit about it. It is a custom P1 called P1 Owens edition. It's a car that P uh, Playground Games have made just for this guy called Owen. He's got a YouTube channel called Epic Gaming 101. I think he's disabled somehow and uses. he has to use the Microsoft, the, the, the special controller to play the game and Playground Games have kindly given him this exclusive P1 and I'm going to show you what's so exclusive about it. So if you want to have a look at this exclusive P1 then do the following. Go to any event, doesn't matter which one, go to Solo then go to create blueprint. I can't do it because I've already got too many, damn it. Once you click create blueprint, it will come to this page, then go all the way over to custom car restrictions. And then 
if you go all the way to McLaren, you'll see right here a McLaren P1 called P1 Owens Edition. It has the same horsepower and torque as a normal P1, but the speed and the handling and everything like that is a lot more than usual. Now there's some other cool stuff about this car. If you click on it, so you tick it, make sure that's ticked and then find something else random, but make sure you own what you click on. So I've clicked on the special P1. I'm gonna click on the Senna now, because I have a Senna. Then click yes, go to create blueprint, blah, blah, blah. It'll then ask you to drive your Senna, so click on that and then wait till the race loads. Now once you're in the race, just click start. Now I'd recommend just pausing it straight away, um, which I believe is, not pause it, sorry, go into camera mode. Now if you find one of the P1s, look at this. It is a custom P1 with a number plate window sticker. It's actually a Horizon Edition P1 because it has a special Horizon Edition plate. The plate is on the window and it's also got Owen's name tucked in at the back kind of window bits. So this is the custom P1 that I've been on about. Playground Games have made this custom car for Owen. I think that's brilliant of them. It's pretty exclusive because it's got technically it's got a window sticker and it's got Owen's name on the back along with a special Horizon Editions plate. I tell you, if he drives around in this P1 online, he's gonna get some looks. So I hope that goes well for him. But there probably is a way that you can suss out how to actually drive it, but seeing as the car's not supposed to be driven by anyone but Owen, I won't do that. Now, if you leave the race and you go into the overworld, there is a chance, yeah, right here, here's one. You can then find the P1s in the overworld, and there you go, there's the number plate, because it's got the little number plate stickers. It's pretty cool, has it got the Horizon plate on it? No, it's not got the horizon plate on it. But yeah, that's proof that it's a number plate on the front and not a window sticker. Now, if you go back to this advanced car restrictions menu, you can actually see all of the new cars that are gonna be added this month on the road. So I'm gonna click the Volkswagen Motors IDR and then the new McLarens, as those are pretty cool. McLaren 720S Spider and the McLaren 600 LT Coupe. So these are all the new cars that have been added this month. Um, what do we have back here? We've got the, what's this? The 600 LT. It's quite nice. I like the color on that. That's nice. The McLaren 720S Spider. This is what I'm going to be able to drive in a few minutes. I'm going to skip to having it unlocked. So that's pretty cool in this update. And then if we move further along, we have the Volkswagen IDR. Now this is a beast. Look at the size of that wang. Look at how jam packed he is in there. Look at that blessing. Look at the size of the seat neck thingy McBobs. McLaren 720S Spider should be out within a few minutes. We're going to unlock it and we're going to have a look at the... We're going to drive it around and have a look at it. Okay, guys, as I kept correcting myself earlier, it's the 600LT McLaren that's out this week, not the 720S Spider. So that's what we're going to go ahead and drive right now. Since the clips earlier, the season's changed over. I've unlocked the 50%, I believe. Yes, I have. And that means we unlock the first new car of this month, the McLaren 600LT Coupe. Just fully upgraded it to 921 horsepower, so quite a reasonable P1 type level. So all in all, this update's been quite interesting. We've got, to be honest, a couple of highly requested features. Lots of people have been asking for the selling duplicate cars and wheel spins and people have wanted some root creator additions as well and this is a step in the right direction oh i like the interior i mean that reminds me obviously of the mclaren the uh, senna but obviously the special thing about the 600 lt is the exhaust location as you can see is right there which is very unusual for a car extremely unusual to be honest but as we all know we've got the ford f-150 deberti design coming out this month the 720S Spider, and also the Volkswagen IDR, which is gonna be very interesting. Can't quite remember which month that is. Let's have a quick look. Next week, so next week in six days, we're gonna have access to this IDR, which is apparently quite mental. And the size of the Wang, it's almost as big as mine. What I used to do in the past was videos on update information about what's gonna be in an update. But as you know, I've started to occasionally do videos on the actual update itself and playing it. For example, today, we're having a look at the car, we've had a look at all the new features, we've had a look at something secret as well. So yeah, please let me know if you'd like me to continue to do this. As you saw at the beginning of the video, we are doing finally 50 laps of LEGO at Livestream. As you may know, I've been in the process of moving house, moving all my setup around. I now have, finally, they've done it. 
I now have unlimited data. Excuse the smashed phone screen. Oh, and the torch which turned on and off. Oh, and I've crashed. Unlimited data means that I can finally stream without having to worry about how much data it's going to leave me with or how much data I've got left. So I'm looking forward to this 50 laps of Lego, 1,000 map, 1,000 mile lap stream. So leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all later. All oh, right through the gap. Thank you.